promised you a snack, didn't I? Not the trash, not the trash, not the trash. There you go. Make sure that we can actually be heard okay. I'm curious about this mic. So I have a different setup than I normally do here. I'm curious about this mic. So I have a different setup than I normally do here. Yay, it works. Cool. All right, so I can mute my Twitch now. Butter. Blossoms. I promised you a snack, I know. You want to say hi? Come here, buddy. Come here. Now we're gonna wash our hands. Come here, you can step into the kitchen. There you go. Up, up, thank you. High five, good boy. All right, you're sleeping here while I bake, okay? All right, well, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing okay. Right now I'm kinda not in the focus of the lens, but I'm trying a completely new setup than what, what I am used to. Good morning, Rat. How are you? Are you waiting around for something else, sir? So I have an appointment at 11, so I'm still gonna make both of the recipes. It's just going to be at a different, different time. So you're gonna have your yummy, um, are you, now you want water. Welcome to my life. You want, I, I have like a little bit right now. That is a pathetic amount. I am so sorry. Let me actually <laughs> run downstairs on the bus heading to work. Nice. So I can't change my scenes. I'm just going to lick that up. Okay. You guys can't see him, but he's in the corner over here drinking drinking some water. So let me actually pull up Discord because that is where I kept my recipe. Rad, I hope you have a great day at work. And we can hang out later today with all our fun friends. Well, you're being a little obnoxious now. It's drizzling a little bit here. I was not expecting that when I walked out today. Your notification said your title was for Walking Dead, though. Yeah, so I, I adjusted it. It should have gone through, though. Yeah, so if you refresh it, it'll now say Gray Eyes Bakes Peanut Butter Blossoms. I had to update it from here. I know, I'll wipe you and then I'll wash my hands again. Because good hygiene is key. Alright. Okay, because I can't keep an eye on you. It's allergy season. It's been very bad. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. No running. Luca. You are such a sass master today. No biting, no scratching, no nothing. Okay, I think we're good. I also haven't had any coffee yet today, so we're about to change that. We are about to change that. Nice. Okay, so we're making peanut butter blossoms. If you're gonna be staring at me the whole time, so help me dog, so help me dog, so help me god dog. Luca, you can wait, hold on. Okay, we need to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. That is the first step. Second step would probably be good is to have your pans ready. I'm doubling the recipe, so no, we're just going to go with the big ones. We're going to go with the big ones. These are going to be sprayed down with um, some cooking oil spray. Oops. If we go with the big ones, that'll be better. Okay, we'll just have these out 
and ready for when I need them. This can go back. You know, I don't cook it, I don't bake in this kitchen enough apparently anymore that I don't remember where everything is. Uh, I do need, cool, measuring spoons, cool. So I've had the butter sitting out for a little bit. Blue, sit down. We are doubling this recipe. So, sift together flour, baking soda, and salt. Oh, I hope we have that. Perfect. Is that baking powder? Baking powder. Baking soda. And vanilla. Where my vanilla at? Should have gotten this ready earlier. Almond. Anise. But what I really need is. Rose water. Oh, got matcha. I got everything but what I actually need. Cream of tartar. Coke. We have every kind of extract. Where's the vanilla? Lemon. Coffee? Are you kidding me? Y'all even see this? Me struggling? That's okay though. That's fine. We're okay. Everything's good. I have time. I have time. I will need probably like a step ladder because I'm so short. extract in this. We may mix it up. Because how in this kitchen do we not have? We have sprinkles. You know, we're going to put coffee extract in it. Why not? Why not? Where did I put it? We're gonna make an adjustment. It's gonna be, it's gotta be there somewhere. Out of all the extracts, I don't have vanilla today. What? That makes absolutely no sense to me. I feel like it should be there somewhere. Actually. This is all in Polish. Can I read that? I don't understand that. I don't understand that either. There's a rum extract. You know, I was at the store the other day. I'm like, no, we have so many extracts. We should definitely have vanilla. It's probably separate from everything else since it's used more often. Who knows? I have balsamic, dogs have seasonings. Why? Why is this happening? You know, coffee extract, I don't think it'll be that bad. Lavender, seriously, of all the ones to have. Anyway, we're gonna have this. Of all the extracts not to have, I am honestly flabbergasted right now. Absolutely flabbergasted. Lemon. Although, then again, we go through a lot of vanilla, so I'm not too angry. I think your cookies, the ones that I'm making for you, Rat, are, require um, vanilla, I think. 
So regardless, I'm still gonna go pick some up. Tartar, matcha, all the things not to have. Somehow I know. This is how you know it's a live stream because stuff like this happens. Also, I I understand what it is, what you were talking about. Food and a drink. There you go. I'm like my title changed, what are you talking about? But everything else didn't. gonna be a sweaty stream, you guys. All right, so we have the oven uh, preheating right now. We're going to be needing a third cup, one cup, one fourth cup, uh, three quarters. These sift together flour, baking soda, and salt. Salt. So let's let's get cracking, why don't we? Trying to log into my dog's Spotify. Why well, don't I remember my dog's Spotify? Regardless. Luca, I can hear you. What are you doing over there? I hope everyone is doing awesome on this, uh, what's even the word, Thursday, one and three quarters. So I've made this recipe about two weeks ago and it was, it turned out really, really good. It was very tasty, although one mistake I made was not keeping them on the same level because two of the pans did not fit, unfortunately. But we, we made it work. Okay, one, two, Three, two. So right now we did two times of a cup and three quarters of some all-purpose flour. Feels like Friday. It absolutely does. So are you going to take off Friday or no? Hi, Zara. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're also going to be doing two teaspoons of baking soda. So we got our teaspoon ready. Did I have it set for one teaspoon? One teaspoon. Okay, we have it in like the, the different container. This is literally the worst thing I can work with right now, but we're going to do our best. We're going to do it over the sink, to be honest. That's exactly why. So we got one teaspoon, two teaspoons because we are doubling the recipe. We got two. Okay, and then salt. We're going to have one teaspoon of salt. You have tomorrow off? Nice. Good. Hopefully today goes nice and smooth. So we have it was half a teaspoon of salt, so we're doing one teaspoon. A full teaspoon of salt because again what am I cooking I am making peanut butter blossom cookies so they're the ones that are going to have a little Hershey kiss on top of them they are peanut buttery they are delicious and I highly recommend them I also don't have vanilla extract apparently so we're gonna be using coffee extract who knows still still pretty good though was it even opened it wasn't even opened I got this for my mother on her birthday because she wanted it. Luca, I can hear you. What are you doing? You're getting the muzzle. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Now you're coughing up like you have a hairball. Sit down. Sit, Luca. Sit. Aha. Got you. God. All right. Needed the muscle. So this, this 
It does smell really good. Sounds good? Yeah. Sounds really good. The dog's really disappointed I put the muzzle on him. Okay, and set aside. It would be nice if I could put this cap back on. Oh. Apparently we're going to be using it forever and using all of it at once. That is a really annoying cap. All right, so to just mix this around real quick, just combining it real quick. I'm using an electric mixer, which I will not be doing because, I don't know, there's just something about electric mixers. It's just so damn loud. It's too loud for me. Also, since this is, this is my very first cooking slash baking stream ever, um, just sort of wondering what the sound is like. I'm currently on Wi-Fi, which I generally am not when I stream, but yeah. I did red velvet with pancake mix and then dip in grease. It's so good. Oh my God. Did you make like fried red velvet pancakes? That sounds amazing. Amazing. I feel like, oh, I always do this. I mix up the bowls. Gradually add flour mixture. Here's what I'm going to do. Because I messed up. Because I, <laughs> this is a live stream and this is going to happen. Essentially what is supposed to happen is the flour is eventually going to be combined into the butter mixture. The butter mixture is going to have all the doughy goodness at the end. Therefore, we need the bigger bowl. All right, butter, plop on in here. Yeah, last time I made this, I did not use a mixer. It was totally fine. I used my um, strength. True Toxmetics, yeah, it's a morning stream. Fudge red velvet, that sounds amazing. Yeah, this is my once in a lifetime, well, not in a lifetime. Um, morning stream where I cook, I'm actually off today. Okay, and we are on a pretty tight schedule. So let's see. Uh, cream together butter, peanut butter. So we got eight ounces, so two sticks of butter at room temperature. They've been sitting out for a little bit. We're gonna have a full cup of creamy peanut butter. This is unsalted and unsweetened. Cool, if I could open this, this is the worst. Oh, this is so nice and easy. The worst part about it, though, is the oils at the top. Gonna mix that around first. The glory of organic peanut butter, you guys. Fudge red velvet. That sounds really good. So I'm going to be baking, working on two recipes today. Uh, one of them is probably going to be off stream just because I have to get to um, an accountant this morning because I'm an adult and I'm preparing my taxes. How long is it going to take? I bet it looks good. It's not It's not going to take long at all. Um, overall, just because I'm talking, it's going to probably add another like 10, 20 minutes. So I would say all together with prep and everything, if you have everything ready and if you have your vanilla extract ready, um, it's going to be about 35 minutes. Does not take long at all, which is fantastic, especially if you're looking for something for like a potluck or a birthday or just to bring over to someone's house or if you have people coming from out of town. Um, really tasty. Last time I, I made them, I... Um, my boyfriend was streaming and I'm like, do you want a cookie? As I'm like peeking out. <laughs> I think they're, they're a great treat. My God, this is so much peanut butter. I used up half the jar of peanut butter. Oh my God. Okay. Well, it's a cup. I'll get all that peanut butter goodness. Yeah. I'm going to work as fast as possible, but that's going to require me needing some music. Otherwise, I'm just going to sing for you guys, and that's not necessarily something we want. All right. I think we're going to need a half a cup of light brown sugar. Let's see. 
we can do this too. So we're going to do a cup of peanut butter, a cup of granulated sugar, and a cup of light brown sugar, which I actually have. Last time I had coconut coconut brown sugar, which, you know, I thought was going to taste a lot different, but it was actually really, really good. So let's move that over here. Peanut butter is done for now. Remember to wipe your jars, because me, I'm, I'm messy. I get messy when I bake. I do my best to clean up as best as I can. I always do. Yeah, you get red velvet. Okay, I see it's skipping a little bit. Okay, so the next, I'm sort, I'm currently on Wi-Fi right now, but I'm trying to figure out. There's a um, like a Wi-Fi bank you can get. But let's see, red velvet cookies. Then mix it with cupcake mix. Has to be oh, cover. It has to be cover. You need to try it. That you know, I would definitely consider that. That sounds really tasty. I'm just, I have never done a stream like this, mainly from my, from my mobile device, because this is on my cell phone, uh, using Streamlabs. I'm really curious what the quality would be like if I had the external little pocket Wi-Fi. I think it's 20 gigs for like 30 a month or something, or less, I don't know. Granulated sugar. Do we have sugar here? Yes, we do. All right. Oh, sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Let me just clean this up real quick because I don't want to, no, sticky peanut butter in here. Oh, it's really sticky. Look. As much as I love peanut butter, I don't like it on my hands. Or anything like, sticky on my hands. But, you know, I'll definitely, definitely give that a, give that a go. Your home Wi-Fi is likely better than a hotspot would be. Yes, I definitely read about that. Like, my Wi-Fi isn't horrible, but I think maybe it's just where we're at. I'm definitely not using a hotspot. Did you leave Sarah or Slapper hurt uh, in season two? I left her, actually. The very first time I played, I slapped her. The second time, I just said, you know what? You are literally holding us down. I was an awful person in, in that uh, playthrough. Just the worst. Okay, we're going to do a cup of granulated sugar. It's a shit ton of sugar. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we're going to be... This is called our energy for C2E2. So we're going to a convention this weekend in Chicago, and I'm really pumped about it. Um, I, go at le I go at least once at least a day, once a year. This is the first time in a while that I'm going the full, full, ugh, the full three days. Not cosplaying this year like I normally would. I just don't have the time. Okay, and light brown sugar. Hopefully we have a cup. It looks like we do. Stuff gets so sticky. Your home Wi-Fi, yeah, my home Wi-Fi is likely better than a hotspot. I was reading about it because there's another streamer on Twitch, uh, um, Friendly Genly. Riley actually does a bunch of baking streams and I got really inspired. I'm like, you know, I bake every weekend and I have some time this morning to, to actually do some baking since I was going to anyway. But I figured why not incorporate my blog into what I do here. So I generally play video games on stream. That's just what I do. But today we are baking, and holy lordy, we are making a mess already. Packed up shooting. So as aside from gaming, I actually do write a blog as well. You can find it on grayeyes.me. I find recipes online and I review them. I am not a professional at all. Let's see, uh, she would have died anyway because of Jane L Little scratch on on the deck yeah she would have she would have and i actually did see both of those endings all right uh, light brown sugar 
Let's combine this first. The peanut butter is really gonna help with the butter right now. I'm using a fork. I'm not using an electric mixer just because it's gonna add a lot of extra noise and that's just gonna make me anxious. I've managed very well without that. Also, the cabinet with the mugs is like right next to my camera. Poor, poor Sarah, absolutely. I feel so bad for her. You know, she, she really did not stand a chance. Okay, yeah, that's better coffee. Okay, so right now we are combining the, the butter, the peanut butter, the granulated sugar, and the brown sugar. A lot of people will go with that mixer, but I don't know, I like to fight the system or something, whatever you want to call it. I call it my arm workout. I'm not going to the gym today. This is my workout, baking cookies and then eating all of them. And have a mess, oh yes, absolutely. It's combining just fine because I left, I left the butter out. We do need milk here. I had to double check. I forgot if we had enough milk. But we're only gonna need two tablespoons worth. And this is already combining nicely. I haven't worked on my arms in a while, so this is me getting my, my tone back. All right. All right. Have you played um, all the seasons of The Walking Dead, Zare? Like, part, pardon me if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. There we go. Nice. So all the chunks of butter are broken down to the point where, you know, we can confidently add the other ingredients and then keep mixing. Lord Jesus, my arm. I'm going to have like one strong arm because I'm a lefty. Okie doke. Da -da 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 -da. Add egg, milk, and vanilla coffee extract this time. It's going to have a little bit of a different flavor. Um... So we're going to add two large eggs. Since we have that mixture, I'm just going to break them over in a different bowl right now. Make sure that there are no... Perfect. All right. Got two eggs. You're heating up KFC. Well, what, what did you get from KFC? Combining before we add the rest of the stuff. There you go. Egg helps break it down. Very nice. See? It's starting to get more, more smooth. So, if there's any butter chunks, so you just gotta beat them out. Next up, we have to add milk, and that is going to be two tablespoons of milk. I may have two tablespoons worth here, otherwise I do have another container of milk. One tablespoon is going to be all this chicken and macaroni and more and more. Any hot sauce left over in that bowl? Yeah, these are going to be spicy cookies. Let me tell you, that ramen wrecked me. You didn't see it on stream. I woke up the next day, I'm like, oh lord, like everything's on fire. Two tables, and we literally, we still have some milk left. I'm gonna be the jackass that leaves this in the fridge. God, only I drink coffee with milk, that would help, but I don't. All right, and then we're going to be adding vanilla coffee extract. We're gonna we're gonna jazz these cookies up. Uh, by the way, I got this recipe from New York Times. So I, I'm actually gonna share it with you guys. If you uh, would like to try it, it is fantastic. It's from cooking, uh, cooking the cooking section of New York Times. It's absolutely fantastic. 
I've seen this recipe um, around and my coworker actually recommended this. So I'm really excited the fact that I'm making this again. I think that says a lot. They turned out really well. And for someone who is generally pretty afraid of baking, not so much because, oh no, there's all these steps. Um, it's just because you have to be careful with how your, you know, the temperatures you're using and the type of oven that you're using because not every oven is the same. Other than that, uh, right now we are adding the flour mixture into the peanut butter and sugar mixture. So it's going to start to thicken up now. I'm still using the fork to combine it, but I'm just going to be adding more and more gradually. Do about two spoonfuls and then mix until it's combined. Uh, then the recipe instructs if the dough is too soft and you can't form it in your hands, then to um, this is combining nicely. Then to add, then to let it chill for an hour. I did not let it chill for an hour last time, and they formed just fine. Oh, I put the sugar away. I almost forgot last time. Right before you put them on the cooking sheet, you have to, um, you have to roll them in granulated sugar. There you go. Nice. Good form. This is, this is what you want to see, where, like, it's still soft, but you'll be able to form it. Mind you, we're not done adding all the flour yet. So let's add a little bit more. One. Yeah, we can add a little bit more. It's combining very nicely. And it's giving me quite the workout. How many times did I make it? This is my second time making this. We're getting messy. We're getting messy. So this is my second time making this ever. Jesus Christ, flour everywhere. And I like them so much, I'm like, hey, why not make them again? Oh my gosh. Uh, this is combining well because it's getting harder to mix, meaning it's thickening up. Might as well just add the rest. There you go. Flour is all in. I generally am a, I mainly cook like dinners and make breakfast, but these cookies are easy, so easy that even I can make them. I think I'm about to just move over to using my hands, but before I do that, did it not preheat? Did it not preheat? Okay, we got eight minutes. <laughs> We got eight minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to put on some music. Okay. What's this? Let's put on some music. You're mad at Eleanor? Which Eleanor? Oi, 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 Tex Mex, how are you doing? Yeah, this is exactly where I wanted it to be. Got so as I'm combining it, there's little patches of flour in there that you want to get out. So we're just going to keep going. Oh, yeah. Oof. Yeah, the oven did in freaking preheat. I'm like, what the hell's going on? The Walking Dead. Eleanor. Which one was Eleanor? Keep in mind, I did not. I only, I'm only on the second episode of the final season. Didn't find I've been 
binging on The Division 2 since its release. Hey, I haven't been binging, but I've been playing as well. Are you on PC or PS4 or Xbox, whatever other cons console it's on? I was actually playing after my stream yesterday. I needed to level up a little bit. Eh, eh. Yes, queen. There you go. There's a chunky flower on the bottom. Slash sugar. Whew, I'm going to be sweating after this, guys. Okay, but that is exactly where we want it to be in terms of consistency. Not too soft, not too firm, so we don't have to refrigerate this for an hour because I don't have an hour. PC? Hey, if you ever want to group up, I'm only like level 7 right now. I've actually gone through some of the main missions yesterday. I think I got two of them done because I, I was doing the side missions and then... So it's like, oh wait... Maybe we, we shouldn't be doing the, the side missions because apparently later on in the game you get a lot more XP for that. I'll still do some to kill some time, especially if I need to level up a little bit more, but, you know. One with the doctor when said that we can kill Conrad and told Joan. You're level 30? Yeah. You would definitely been binging it then. Me, I don't have that much time. I don't, um, I don't have my system with me on the weekends but I'll, I'll get there eventually i you know i can for now i can play division on mondays tuesdays and fridays before we move over to um the walking not the walking dead uh final fantasy 9 since we finished six on monday surprisingly which is also why we played division on tuesday okay bowl is clean we're going to use that for granulated sugar. I don't want to be using too much. I'm just going to be cleaning as we go. Eleanor. I cannot picture Eleanor for some reason. I'm sorry. Not Dr. Lingard. I'm going to have to like revisit these characters. It's been a while since I played. Which season was that? I cannot seem to pinpoint that. Okay, ba we're basically ready, and I'm making surprisingly really good time. That's salt. We don't want salt. Ugh, okay. So the sugar is going to be for the sugar is going to be for why can't I think? Sugar is going to be used to. Um, roll the little cookies in before they're actually put on the cooking sheet. Cookie sheet. So you don't want to put too much, but you know, I was surprised with by how much uh, we went through when I was rolling them in last time. So let's just do that for now. If we need more, we'll just use more. So as of right now, we can move this here. We don't need this. Look at me cleaning up as I go. How exciting. Season three? Season three. Season two. Was that with the new frontier? Because I don't think there was one officially called season three, it just had a different name. I didn't put I didn't put the extract in. No one reminded me, guys. With Javier, yes. Okay. That was uh, that was a crazy season. Javier and David. I 
instead of vanilla extract, we went with coffee extract. Cookies to wake you up. Yeah, I'm build, building up my arm muscles right now. I never get to do morning streams. Wow. This feels nice. It just feels, <laughs> feels nice being home when it's quiet. Sometimes I just need some quiet. The dog sleeping peacefully, luckily. Okay, second step, let's just get, let's put this back. Um, if you weren't here at the beginning, I could not find. Coffee and peanut butter should be a good combo. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And it's like not, not too over, like not espresso coffee, but it's, smells pretty good. I'm quite pumped. All right, guys, we have two minutes before we have to get these in the oven. I'm gonna spray these down with some cooking spray. Make sure they're all clean. Okay, and then we're gonna start scooping them over here. Make sure, make sure we didn't forget anything. This is going to make a lot. Okay, so this is the sugar we're going to be rolling them in. Sugar, granulated sugar. Let's just start with this before I get any. So I was gonna use a different tripod, but I like my tripod that I use for streaming a lot more. I have a mic attachment to this as well, and then I'm using a wide lens, which I got so frustrated this morning because I forgot how to use it. Okay, so now the dough is workable. So I'm just rolling them into about one inch balls. Probably yay big or something, something like that. Whatever floats your boat, really. And you want these, see, I forgot already. Roll the cookie in the granulated sugar. Here, we'll do that. There we go. Two, uh, about two inches apart. We may have to do mul multiple batches of this. Yeah, it smells pretty good. I think it can actually make them a little bit bigger. You spread out a little bit, but not too much, which is great. I haven't had my first sip of coffee yet. If I make pretty good time on everything today, I may be able to get some gaming in. Who knows? Definitely not on stream though. The next time I do a video game, uh, like a game stream will be on uh, Tuesday. More likely. I feel like I'm gonna come home on Monday and then just pass out. So 
So right now we're just rolling, we're just shaping these into about one inch. Um, this is gonna be loud. Okay, not too bad. About one inch balls, spacing them out. They're not gonna expand too much, but still you wanna give them enough room to do so anyway. I'm a little nervous of how these are gonna turn out because I haven't made these at home before. I've worked with a diff I generally work with a different oven over the weekend on the weekends. Maybe when it's cooking you can play. You know, it does it does not take that long. So you actually while I'm doing that I'll probably be cleaning up. Um and I'll be reading the next recipe to see if, if we can potentially make it, but I think that's going to have to wait until I get back today. It's going to be a pretty busy morning here. And I told myself, like, I'm going to take some time off, and all I'm going to do is sit and play video games, and here I am cooking. <laughs> Baking on stream. I didn't have to, but I really, I wanted to. We have some friends coming from out of town, and I wanted to have something nice for all of us today and this weekend if they last that long i swear after after i made them two weeks ago I, we had some before dinner after dinner in the morning <laughs> like just bring the plate over it's good okay that one's pretty big too good we're about Oh, God, I feel like we're not even halfway done. A welcome combo, indeed. Ubiquitous cold. Hi. I'm not making a mess in the kitchen, I promise. There'll be some cookies left over at home. Aren't you at work? If you guys don't know, Ubiquitous cold is, uh, is Gray's father. One cool dude. Finishes more games than I can. <laughs> We're about to finish our first, We're about to put our first batch of cookies in the oven. That's a good amount. Um, also, Cole, did you know that we didn't have vanilla extract in this house? We have lavender, almond, coffee, Freaking gold, gold extract, no vanilla. So these are with a coffee extract instead because I had to improvise real quick. Keep it clean. <laughs> I am, everything's, um, I wash some bowls. Keeping it clean. Except I got some, no, I even cleaned up the flour, look at that. I don't even use a mixer because I got strong arms. They used to be stronger. Well, we're working on that. All right, first, first batch of them is uh, done. They're gonna be ready to go in the oven, but we're gonna put them in at the same time, I think. Hold on, how long do they bake for? Six to eight minutes. At this moment, how much room do we have in here? If I were to, I should have checked. We're gonna have room for one, okay. We don't want it to be on the top and the bottom rack. There's vanilla powder, that's not the same. That's not the same. We're gonna set it for eight minutes. eight minutes I'm gonna get a cooling rack um, for eight minutes because then we're gonna have to put the Hershey kisses on stick them in for another two minutes I'm gonna get a cooling rack so we'll be good to go baking 
and don't have a cooling rack, I highly recommend you get them. They're like five bucks at Target. Or wherever it is you go to get your, your things. Peanut butter. Half it done with the peanut butter, that means we're gonna be good for we're gonna be good for the next recipe. So the next thing to do is actually to do we have an electric stove? No, it's a gas stove, but I generally work with an electric one. Generally. All the kisses. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna be doing multiple batches, but for now, I need to get these kisses unwrapped because the moment we have, um, yeah, it says remove sheet from oven and lightly press a candy kiss in center of each cookie, allowing to crack it slightly. Return to oven until light golden brown, two to three minutes. So we have some time. Were you mad that Lee died? I cried. I cried like a baby when he died. Honestly, that was I'm like all that work protecting this little girl. And you know, it was all just preparing her for when he would eventually die. That's just, uh, it hurt my soul. That's what it did. And with these uh, kisses, it's good to unwrap them before you actually. Blake, thank you so much for that follow. I really appreciate it. I don't think I have uh, my notifications on right now, but thank you so much for joining me today. I generally don't do morning streams or cooking streams, but hey. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, my dude. Yeah, we're unwrapping Hershey Kisses right now. Lee was a real homie. He really was. He really, really was. And now, I'm on the final season right now, and one of the lines that, not so much a spoiler, but AJ was saying, well, you, you killed Lee. That makes you a murderer. I'm like, what? We spared him from becoming a walker. That's not murder. You're watching all work? Well, enjoy. Hopefully, when you get off of work, you may want to make some peanut butter blossoms. They're very easy cookie to make, um, clearly. I don't think I've been streaming for too long, about 49 minutes, only because I'm talking and then I spent a good five minutes looking for vanilla extract. Uh, they don't, these do not take very long to make, so if you're in a hurry needing to make something for a... Uh, you own a bakery? Oh my gosh, Blake, what kind of uh, pastries do you make? I need to like stay away from bakeries. There's one near near work called Tout Le Jour and it, oh, all kinds. Oh, I love pastries. I don't like so much, you know, st stuff with like buttercream and heavy frostings. I like tea cakes. I like French pastries. So good. How are we doing? Looking good. We're gonna let them go for the full eight minutes. All kinds, that sounds delicious. You run it with your wife, that's so cool. That's very awesome. I always have help offered to me when I'm when I'm making dinner. And pierogies? Not what? No, I no, not pierogies. Wait, Blake, you make pierogies? I would say I'm like the least Polish Polish person. Bonnie was my favorite in season two, but man, that was harsh. Why did Luke had to die? You know, nothing is fair in that game. Don't You don't know what those are, pierogies? Okay, so they're essentially Polish dumplings. And they generally, they can have a fruit filling or um, meat, potatoes. Like if, I feel like 
anyone who asks me, like, oh, what's something that, if I eat something that's Polish, I'm like, oh, do you eat pierogies? I'm like, I actually don't. I don't. I don't eat a lot of Polish food. It just does not taste good to me anymore. I don't know why. That should be enough. How are we doing? In time, two minutes left. Cookies are looking decent. They are starting to crack in some places and they are expanding a little bit. Everyone dies and comes around, but my wife can can work right now. Yeah? Can or can't? Sorry to hear, hope she's okay. Gonna wrap a bunch of these. So I'm just gonna move these kisses over here, which I probably realized I should have probably opened up over there. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to open this up. I'm gonna move on the next batch. She's fine. Oh, she's pregnant. Congratulations. How exciting. Is this your first? Do I bake it till it's lightly brown? Third? Ooh, big family. Do they all bake with you? All right. Now you can see that they got, oh God, it's smushed. They got bigger, so now we have to press a, oh, these are a lot bigger than I thought, oh my God. We have to press a, a kiss to the middle of them, allowing them to crack lightly. That won't crack a lot. Wow, these ended up being, being a little bit bigger than I anticipated. So we're going to be definitely making them, you know, they're not so bad. Usually you want to make them a little bit smaller, but I think we're going to be just fine. Okay, so while these are going to be going back in the oven for two to three minutes until they are lightly browned, I'll be scooping out the, the next tray. These are cracking so nicely. Like when you put the kiss in, it sounds like, um, like you're putting your feet in some sand on a beach. Nice. We had enough kisses. All right, so now we are, hey, 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 no. This is what I hate about this oven. We're going back in the oven for, I think three minutes will be just, just enough until they're lightly brown. Okay, in you go. Cook time is three minutes. Okay, we can work on the rest now. Uncle Voitex says hi, hello. Clementine is gay, did you know, uh, in Frontier, she liked Gabe, bisexual. Yeah, she she is. Um, in in my uh, final season, I, I had her go with Violet, but being you know really subtle about it. My twin five year olds come to work with me. Oh my God, you're a family that bakes. That's so adorable. I wish my dog could bake with me, but he'd just get his fur everywhere. I was brushing him this morning and I'm almost at the point where I could make another dog out of his, um, his fur. Shedding so much. He's a little jerk. 
I think on, on Twitter I posted, hey, come come uh, watch me drink some coffee and talk about how my dog didn't let me sleep at all last night. I set my alarm clock for 5 a.m. this morning so I can get up, get ready, maybe even shower, and brush my hair today. That's about it. Um, ooh, this is going to be a pretty cool cookie. It has a, like a swirl of the coffee extract in there. I'm curious what that one's going to taste like. It's cool. Yeah. It is. It's a nice way of, you know, including everyone. Luca, I can hear you snoring. Yeah, so he would, I was up maybe every hour, 30 minutes to an hour last night. It's terrible. I'm like, the dog, this is like the one night I actually need some sleep. So I can wake up because I am on a very tight schedule. I have to leave the house by like 1030 to go get my taxes prepared. Then I want to come home, shower, and uh, then I have to go to the salon. Get stuff done, guys. But he's like, no, I'm going to get up every, you know, 30 minutes, start licking my paw, start scratching my face. And that's because it's allergy season, and it's not just him, it's me. In The Walking Dead, what character would you want to be? Are we talking about only the game or um, the show? Well, I guess it, it includes both. Um, Michonne has always been my favorite, and I like that they did a um, Telltale series season with her, except I have to say... Um, that was a pretty lame season. It was like three episodes and you pay the same price. Almost. Come on. The episodes weren't quite as long. The final season episodes are all two hours each. That's amazing and worth every penny I spent on them. That was a really fast three minutes. Yeah, in the game, she should meet Clem. Yeah, but you know, now that you know Telltale is done, they just wanted to do the final season. It's it's okay. Do you keep up with the with the show? I stopped. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I can't, in, I can't sing in Korean, but I can try. Only in the car when no one's in there. No. I feel the Telltale Games did a way better job at The Walking Dead than the actual show. After they started killing off people just for, like, shock factor, I'm like, this is, this is shitty television now. Hopefully they browned a little bit. I mean, these are generally, like, a brownish dough, but... Mm. I stopped at season four. Manga's better. Yes, it is. I 100% agree with you. I have, like, the really thick ones, the thick books. But I stopped buying them for a while. I think I have, like, three of those. Or two. I don't know. Perfect timing. This is where an electric oven will be better, I guess. 
Yes. Like Carter? Yeah. I'm just curious. I just want to see one of them like fell apart. Nope, these are perfect. Yes, perfect. Okay, so now we can stick these in. For eight minutes. Unwrap some more Hershey Kisses. On the left next to your computer. Well, what are you talking about? Good time for some coffee. I'm checking the other recipe right now, how long it would take to get it together. Was it a lower temperature though? the demo of the, the final season if you plan on buying it just so you know it's no longer available on steam it's only on epic games the same launcher that is fortnite Not too bad. Yeah, I used to watch the show too. And then I just got really disappointed. Oh, that's too much. they're just so soft right now um the bottoms are a very nice light brown i'm gonna probably shouldn't be taking a bite right now but we're still gonna do it because i need to see it's baked through and it is maybe if i got a little piece yeah the coffee extra adds a really interesting flavor These are good. Mm. 
You just can't beat a warm cookie. You really can't. Yum, yum, yum. So we're just going to wait the next three minutes while I let this cookie rest a little bit because this is the first thing I've eaten apparently. I would like to go back to my coffee right now. But they turned out exactly how I hoped they would. So I'm very, very happy about that. The concern with making the same recipe you've made on, a, on another oven is knowing that sometimes you're going to have to add a little bit more time. You have to know when is going to be that additional time that you need. Sometimes you just don't know. Sometimes it could be the same exact time. Baking is definitely a science, as is cooking. And you can't be upset if something doesn't work out. It's just how it is. So what I'm going to do is I am actually going to prepare the second part of not the second part, but the second recipe. I'm going to make the dough for it. This does, I don't think this one requires. Yeah, the coffee extract is just fine. It's just fine. I actually like the flavor of it. It's not overpowering, but it's delicate. The, the peanut butter certainly helps. Say so thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good time. Ideally, I would like to do a lot more of these, but I still live at home, so it's a little bit more difficult to Get a quiet space. Yeah. Guess how Kenny and Jay died two ways. Well, one of them you could shoot Kenny. Jane could have had her eyes gouged out or shot, I think. Yeah. Oh, yes, I am. It's soothing to watch cooking. I know, right? And because I made this before, I'm not, like, freaking out. <laughs> That's kind of the thing that you have to accept with baking and cooking is not every recipe is going to be a success. Luckily, today I'm making one that has been very successful for me. And, no, seriously, adding that coffee extract did not, like, hinder this recipe at all. At all. This is so exciting. Again, if you guys are interested in making this recipe, trying it out, highly recommend it. It's from uh, the New York Times. Time to frost the kisses onto the cookies. All right, we're starting to lightly crack over here. So let's do this quickly. One, two, three, four, five. Are here but you do have to move pretty quickly before they start cooling so you can press the kisses in onto the cookies into the cookies actually while before they you know start melting too because you gotta pop them back in the oven for uh, I think we did four minutes last four or five minutes Back in the oven you go. For four minutes. Hey, you gotta stay in, man. Ooh, that one is already melting. See, that's exactly why you gotta go quickly. Okay, bake.
Kenny uh, got eaten and Jane got hung and uh, Kenny got shot and Jane. Yeah. I've, I've seen those endings. I haven't played all of them, but I have heard of them. Welcome back, Blake. How's business going? Busy today? Okay, we have some kisses left. I'm sure my dad will appreciate that. But yeah, so ideally I would really like to do more of these morning streams or even just cooking streams in general, but I'm still at home, so hopefully maybe in the next year I'll be able to do more of these. Hopefully. Okay, let me wash this bowl now because I want to prep the next recipe, which is going to be for um, peanut butter, peanut butter chocolate chip cookies that are dairy free they're, they're vegan dairy free egg free gluten free grain free and soy free so we'll be using the we'll be using the peanut butter the peanut butter is only where's the peanut butter the, pe the ingredients of the peanut butter are only dry roasted organic nuts and that's it got it at whole foods it's the 365 organic Used to be a YouTuber, Zero? What kind of stuff did you do on YouTube? Oh, and then I got uh, vegan carob baking chips. So these are as vegan as they get. They're going to be used for our uh, chocolate, for chocolate chips for these cookies. So right now, we're just going to prepare the dough for this next recipe. Um, because it requires me to chill it for 30 minutes, and then by that time I am actually going to have to leave. Um, and then it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes. You know, I wonder, this requires flaxseed. And to be sitting in water. I need to see if I can have flaxseed. Do we have flaxseed? Are you ready? That's a problem. I'll give it one more minute before we take him out. talk I do not have any subscribers to quite here's here's something that I would bring up as someone who's been streaming for you know a little over a year now don't give up what you're doing one of the things that I say to people what differentiates you from how, how do I describe this what makes you a streamer you can be any type of streamer you can you can cook you can play games you can talk but that's the key thing talking, even when there's no one watching. Um, that's certainly something that I learned. Even when there's there's no one watching you, you want to be talking. You want to be narrating. Talk about your day. Talk about how your dog kept you up all night. That type of stuff. That type of stuff. Okay. I think these were really starting to brown. They're like crack one. I'm curious though, because I didn't set the timer apparently. I just want to see your color. That's all. Perfectly brown. Perfect. I'm glad I took them out when I did. Because I think a couple more minutes more and we could have been in trouble. So we're done here. We have to cool, I have to cool the oven.
oven down just a little bit. Because, actually no, we're not even going to be baking this, we're fine. Although, maybe we have time. So now I'm going to be a game editor for a YouTuber and an artist. Well, that's exciting still. That's very cool. <laughs> okay, so these cookies are done. These cookies are, are done. Like that here. Want them cool. I think we're gonna need sugar. We don't need, no, we don't, we don't, we're not gonna use butter because that's a dairy. I wonder what role the flax seed plays here. It's a good question though. Yeah, look, that's grandma. Question, this recipe is for the rat. If I can make enough money, I would buy you know, Bugatti, is that a car? Me, I'm like, I'm just happy my car runs. Can you have eggs? Because if, <laughs> If the eggs are, because I, I don't think I have flaxseed. The flaxseed is supposed to be in place of like the egg, which like keeps everything together, I guess. Hey, you want a cookie? You want a cookie? No, it's because he's being watched here. Okay. Gray's mom is here. Yeah, fast car. Your daughter say hi. Hi, Blake's daughters. If I could share these cookies with you guys, I would. Gray's mom is home. There's a cookie. I got a bunch. I'm still, do we have flaxseed? Mm, I don't know. Okay. We also don't have vanilla extract. How do we not have vanilla extract? Oh, we, in this have, we have a vanilla natural powder on the shelf. That's not the same though. How am I supposed to reach that? I'm like five foot one. <laughs> they say you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. You guys are sweet. You like my apron? It's like a dress. <laughs> I any opportunity to wear an apron, I'll do it. Hi, it's Kai Gray's mom. My viewers are saying hi. Oh, that's fine. It's just pet insurance, no big deal. Oh, that's funny. I was gonna say, so <laughs> my pet insurance is pretty weird. They gave me less money than they, they said they would, and I think they sent an additional check to make up for that amount. I hope Brat can have eggs. <laughs> as long as it's dairy free, right? Because that's the only thing he had to look at. So I guess we're going to leave the, the oven preheated for 350 degrees. We're going to start... Uh, making the next recipe, at least the the um, the dough, which we'll have to chill for thirty minutes. Gotta get rid of all the dairy on this. Clean it up. It has no flour. So I was wondering if we could just omit using. Um, Flax seed and water because one, when you combine that with water, it turns it gets sticky. 
which is exactly what the egg would do. Not only would it give it some color, but you know, I have a feeling that an egg is gonna be just fine. If he responds to me in time, otherwise, I mean, I'll remake it. I'm working on an order right now for 30 minutes. What kind, what kind, like a video editing order? I'm doing much better on time than I thought I would. We've been streaming for an hour and 26 minutes. We got our batch of cookies done. We can get started on our next one. Yes, we're pumped. No baking powder needed for this. What did you think of the cookie? Mm, I used coffee extract instead. Mm. Not too, not bad, right? Yeah. Yeah, Luca. I'm sorry you're in the muzzle, but I can't help it. Yay! Awesome. Rat says he can have eggs. I <laughs> can make this happen. Awesome, because I don't have black seed. It's good to check um, the comments people leave on this, because someone says, would I replace the flax seed with one egg if need be? Hi, Kelly. Yes, I would double the recipe, Kelly, but use one egg in place of the flax seed water. In water. I would double the recipe. What? Oh, okay, because it's only half... It would be half a tablespoon of flaxseed, and and uh, so it would be one and a half of like the mixture, which egg is generally going to be a little bit more. You're working on an order right now. Oh, that's that's right. I I uh, misread that as a uh, there. That's awesome. What kind what kind of uh, pastries are you making, Blake? All right, so let's do this. We're gonna do a half a cup of peanut butter. Half a cup. Half a cup of peanut butter. There's some coffee if you want some. Let's just, let's, let's just get started. Powdered sugar, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need baking soda again. Baking soda, peanut butter, probably the rest of this. Yeah, okay. You want the one? You're lucky I made more. Mm -hmm. I'm making vegan cookies now. Oh, okay. well, with, with an egg, so okay. that's totally vegan. <laughs> What kind we uh cookies? Yeah, what kind of cookies? You're good at Fortnite. I'm terrible at Fortnite. That's the running joke of on my stream that my favorite game is Fortnite. That's only because I got really drunk at a Fortnite pop-up bar and I barely remember it. I barely remember playing. And then I only remember bits and pieces. Luca, where did grandma go? Like creamy, this peanut butter is just jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Orange coconut. You know, I'm not a huge fan of co coconut cookies, but that sounds delicious. Also, there's a recipe for like a Mexican cookie, I think. I don't know. They're called pajas, and they're amazing. They don't require any eggs, any. The only like dairy, con sweet and condensed milk. No worries, just practice. Oh no. The only battle royale I play is Super Animal Royale. One egg. So she said double the recipe if we're going to be using an egg instead of a... Uh... Oh my god. 
Right? It's like, oh, I have eggs every morning. I'm like, God damn it, I remember that, but I just want to be so sure that everything's going to be okay. Okay. Uh, hi, Kelly. Yes, I would double the recipe, but use one egg in place of flaxseed and water. So I guess we're going to do a full cup. Darn it. Here's uh, one cup. I have half a cup, so I should have just used the one cup. Get another half cup in. We use an entire jar of peanut butter for two recipes. Okay, let's move quickly. So if anyone's curious, in this jar of peanut butter is two cups of peanut butter. Trying to scoop out every bit. Since this said to double it. Okay. Get every last bit of peanut butter in there. Literally just scooping out every bit of peanut butter. We're gonna need some honey too. Cool. I'm gonna need a recipe. Do you know TSM Chica? What's TSM Chica? What is that? Where's my powdered sugar at? There you are. Powdered pure cane sugar. Okay. Got the egg in. We got a whole cup of peanut butter. We're gonna do two. We're gonna do half a cup. Half a cup of powdered sugar. Let me just rinse this out real quick. Get all the peanut butter out. I'm really excited about the peanut butter blossoms. They turned out really good. I was just worried because I was using a different oven than I usually do for baking. She's a player? No, I do not know. Do not know her. Okay. Okay, so now we need half a cup of powdered sugar sifted. We're fine if it's not sifted and we're fine if we're not using organic. Our insides are not going to blow up. The only thing with working with powders is you shake the spoon or whatever just a little bit and it gets all over. Okay. So we currently we have a cup of peanut butter, creamy, unsalted, unsweetened peanut butter in uh, the bowl. We have one egg. The reason we are doubling this recipe is because we're not using flaxseed and water to basically bring this all together, but we are using one egg. Look her up, she's super good. Uh, like what kind, like what player and what? Like Fortnite? I'm like, I'm just not a big fan of Fortnite. You know, no offense to anyone else, but I, I just really don't like that game. Spoons of honey. Close my cap. Well, this hand is not strong right now. Sorry, Zare. Like I said, the only battle royale I play and like is Super Animal Royale. I'm I'm mo mostly an RPG streamer too, so 
Oh my god, I need to switch hands. I'm a lefty, but... Come on, teddy bear. So I've never made like vegan or vegetarian cookies before. Well, by adding the eggs, it's no longer vegan. But, um, I like vegan friendly. Can I do this? Here's what, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna rest this right here. No. No. I need to use both hands for this. Hi, mister. Luca. This is like off the camera right now, but I'm just trying to get another tablespoon of honey in here. Whew, that was, that was tough. Okay. After that is in, we need teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're using coffee extract because that actually turned out really good. Really, really good. And we're using half a teaspoon. That's just honey. Oh, it's so sticky. <laughs> Half a teaspoon of coffee extract. Uh, I'm gonna use a different measuring spoon because it's just so sticky. We're gonna need half a teaspoon of baking soda. teaspoon of baking soda in. All right. So we basically combined all the ingredients together. We had, oh, that smells really good. You like FNAF? What is that? You're going to help me out a little bit here. Interesting recipe. Equal five oh five nights at five nights at Freddy's. Yeah, I cannot play games like that. Yeah, I've never tried these before. What the hell? Okay, I was about to say, they taste just like chocolate. There's a little bit of a difference. Your Bonnie? 
from Five Nights at Freddy's. I wonder if this is gonna thicken it up. Okay. So this is what it looks like before we start combining it. Okay, I see, that'll thicken it up. But how small are these cookies gonna be? There's like, this is not much at all. The hell? We put the baking soda in. Honey, powdered sugar. I'm so confused. Okay then. Let's just move this over. Again, I've never tried this recipe before. What the heck? Yeah, serves five to six little people. Hi, Slunt. How are you doing? I saw your text. I saw that it took longer than usual to get to catch a train, a bus. I mean, it sucks. The bright side you got tomorrow. Huh? Yeah, I've never made this. Like, what? How many cookies is this? I'm so confused. I don't. What? Place the cookies by the tablespoonful on your baking shit. On your baking shit. Oh my god, my one of my recruiters just contacted me from like two years ago. Jeff, I want nothing to do with you. Flatten them a little bit. They don't spread much, clearly. I bake the cookies 8 to 10 minutes. The cookies will need to cool for 10 to 15 before you can handle them. They do firm up as they cool. I love how she has to say that. They do firm up, I promise. Do they though? Do they? The, well, it was, you can hear it, see our peanut butter blossoms are done. My mom came home early, she stopped by, um, tasted them and said they taste great. Here's the one I've been working on. <laughs> yeah, I watched on the bus, but that was pre-coffee, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, I, I know how you are pre-coffee. I still adore you. I'm, I'm working on my first cup of coffee, so you know what, I'll cling cling, take a sip with you. Happy coffee. This has been really fun. This has been so fun. You'll notice that the peanut, peanut butter blossoms are going to taste a little bit different. We used um, pure coffee extract rather than vanilla, because apparently you only have vanilla powder that I didn't realize was all the way up there, and I'm short. I am short. I don't know where half the stuff is in this kitchen. What kind of person am I? All right, so for the chocolate chips, we used vegan carob. I drink coffee with my granny. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, so let me just clean up here a teeny tiny bit because it is a freaking mess. Save my cookie. We're gonna clear this off as much as possible so I can put the cookie sheet over here. Thought of being too messy. Baking palm soda, can go here. We're lowering the temperature right now on the oven because I wasn't aware that we're gonna make these in the, on the same stream, but I still have some time. Because again, I don't have to leave the house until 10.30 today. Just throw on some pants. Just throw on some pants. She said they don't spread much, so. By the tablespoonful. I'm just gonna use a spoon. Why? Wait, why what? Why do I have to go? I have to be an adult. Oh, you're so sticky! 
Lord Jesus, what the hell? Oh my god, these are so sticky. They said you can put it in the fridge for 30 minutes to firm up, but who has that time? I don't. Also, we'll make it work. They'll be like funky shapes or something. She said they don't spread much, so I'm expecting you. No, this just needs a little bit more. Ah! I'll flatten them out as we- Why did I grab another spoon? There was one in here. Yeah, very sticky. But there's really no better way than to use your hands in the, in the long run. Show me, I'll show you, show you. Okay, we can make them a little bit bigger again. Keeping in mind, they don't spread out much. They're not going to grow that much. These are very strange shapes. But I wanted to do something for, for our friends. One of the people in our group can't have dairy, so I, you know, I thought, oh my god, I'm going to bake cookies, and then I realized, oh no, not everyone can have dairy, so I found a recipe that I've never made before, ever, ever, so this is completely new to me, honestly just crossing my fingers at this point that this works out, whew, I really hope so, because you know, I wanted to do, I want to include everyone. When I'm, ba when I'm cooking for people, I want to make sure that I am very conscientious of everyone's dietary, um, you know, requirements. So, this is, this is a fun new experience for me. Okay, we're done with that spoon. Well, it's not as messy as I thought, as I thought it was going to be. I'm still making really good time. diarrhea you know everybody's bodies are different everybody's bodies are different you gotta embrace embrace all that and luckily you know it's amazing how many recipes there are for like people who can't have dairy or gluten and the stuff like does not taste bad at all Okay, so here, this recipe said that it would serve, serves 8 to 10. I feel like they misspelled or used the wrong word, and what they meant to say was yields 8 to 10. Here we have 3, 6, 9, and I'm pretty sure I can squeeze out a 10th cookie somewhere. Yep, there's a 10th cookie. So, serving-wise, it's pretty accurate. So I tried one of these like chip things. They don't taste too bad. At first when you bite into them, I'm like, holy cannoli, they taste exactly like um like chocolate chips. And then you like you you try them a little bit longer and you're like, oh okay, I can sort of I can understand now. Um that they too do taste a little bit different. But for a substitute, if you can't have dairy or you know just need a vegan option, this is fantastic. So not too bad. Let's see if I can get a little bit more to add to this piece. Now the recipe says they don't expand much, so I'm keeping them relatively close. Relatively close. Whoa. Okay. Rat, I really, I don't know if you're still here, but I really hope they turn out because I want to make something nice for you. It's going to be like a baby cookie. You said to flatten it out a little bit. To smush them because they don't... Yeah, it's very hard. You know, I see them with their little, like, nice shapes. I'm like, this is amazing. Uncle Stinky, 3921. Hello. How's Seattle weather? Here in the Chicagoland area. 
Well, that's not too bad. I went for a walk with the dog this morning. It was a little bit chilly and it was actually misty. Not my, ex not exactly my favorite kind of weather. But okay, so um, beginning of the stream, we made some peanut butter blossoms. It's so warm. No, they're actually cool down. Cool. These are the peanut butter blossoms we made. They turned out awesome. Uh, we have. They're light, they're wonderfully light brown on the bottom, which is exactly what we want. Um, I didn't have vanilla extract today for some ungodly reason. Um, and I used coffee extract instead, and they turned out awesome. I had one person taste test already, so these are ready to go. I'm gonna leave some for home, and I'm, I'm gonna be taking the rest uh, for the weekend. It is sunny and in the high 60s, that's awesome. I, I have a co-worker who lives in um, Seattle, so I'm like very jealous all the time. Anywho, we have a friend in our, in our group that cannot have dairy, therefore I made some uh, peanut butter chocolate cookies. Uh, this orig original recipe included flaxseed and water, which will take the place of an egg. Uh, I don't have flaxseed, so someone said that we can use um, an egg, but we would have to double the recipe, so which makes sense. Get her on the food streams. Wait, I didn't get to taste test. You're gonna have the finished product. You'll get to try everything. All right, going in the oven for... My mom came by. Eight to 10 minutes. Let's set it for 10. All right, cookies, let's do it. Time, 10 minutes. Made good time, guys. Made good time. Made good time. I'm gonna eat my cookie. So good! <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Troy. The ramen one. That's the only food stream I randomly popped into yesterday. So good. Wait, son, did you send me the link to that one? No, that was another person. I had spicy ramen on Monday. The spice hurts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you sent me the link. I watched. Okay, well we got eight minutes approximately. The cookies can't be touched until 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to start cleaning up. Yeah, you made cookies today. Pacific Northwest. I hope you're doing well today. I'm doing awesome. We just baked some cookies. We're, we put another batch in the oven of peanut butter chocolate cookies that are dairy free. Um, they only had peanut butter, one egg, powdered sugar. Uh, instead of vanilla extract, I ended up putting, what did I put? Coffee extract. It was really tasty. I can show you what I made earlier. I made some peanut butter blossoms. These are, they do have dairy, they have milk, they have eggs. Two eggs. I doubled the recipe so we have some more for the weekend. Really pumped. 
We got Uncle Pie, Uncle Stinky, and then we got your real uncle saying earlier. Yeah! <laughs> it's like the uncle stream. <laughs> All uncles are welcome on Gray Stream. Hi, guys. <laughs> uncles are the best. Sounds good, and those look yummy. They are, and my, my mom actually came home a little bit earlier and ended up uh, trying one of them so good. She's like, can I have another one? Sure. I can spare two. <laughs> So it's been, it's been really fun. I generally don't do morning streams or cooking streams, that is. Uh, food will bring the uncles by. Yeah, not the milkshakes. Cookies. Cookies. Okay, we can slowly start cleaning up while I keep chit-chatting with you guys. I was really thinking that I wouldn't be able to get through both of these recipes. Bye, Zaire. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Really nice meeting you. Enjoy your Fortnite games. The thing with flour, you never know. You gotta wrap that shit up. So, I'm, I would really love to do more cooking streams, baking and cooking. Um, it's just a matter of my setup right now, but... Who knows? Maybe I'll figure something out. Because I have a lot of time. Cooking and baking has been very relaxing for me lately. Um, so I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. Cookies bind the world together. We uncles can't help but be attracted to them. It's a, re it's a religious thing. Absolutely. Like, you have a cookie and it automatically life's so much better. Life is better with a cookie. I'm sure that's a saying somewhere. If not, we'll just have it an official saying here. I'm just gonna add some water to this bowl so I can clean them easier. I'm really curious about the the vegan slash vegetarian cookies. Like, I don't want to open up the oven right now just because I gotta, you know, let them do their thing. Oh my god, they look like cookies! So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have ten cookies out of that. So excited. Hi there, other uncle. Cooking streams are my Valium. I enjoy the focus requires interacting with the community. I'll say, generally, the recipe for the peanut butter blossoms without any distractions will take you a total of 35 minutes. It took me a lot longer, maybe like 40, 50, but just because I don't want to be staring at something and I get nervous if I'm too quiet. Uh, the thing about me is I talk a lot, even in regular conversations. If I start getting nervous, I'll just keep talking, which is pretty good that I work in, um, in like a customer service position, a client service at an IT company. I talk to people for eight hours a day on the phone, in person. It's, it's pretty great. I like talking to people. Sometimes people frustrate me, but you know, you just got to crank up that kindness and you're right. Streaming food takes twice as long. Mm -hmm. So I, I had to really time myself because I have to leave in the next 30 minutes. Yeah. Thinking of making broths with peppers, potatoes, and cabbage. Oh my God, I've been craving. Like, I missed Oktoberfest. I want my broth. How you doing, cookies? Okay, they're looking really cool. So we're going to stick around for, um, the end of the stream is literally me going to be showing you the, the cookies at the end. Zara, you're back. Welcome back. We're almost done with the cookies. We have about three minutes left before they're ready to come out. My dad was so nice. He bought like three kinds of Hershey kisses. I only needed the, the original milk chocolate, but I think we have dark chocolate. We have milk and almonds. And the caramel ones. The caramel would have melted immediately. Okay, this is done. Just put you here for baking. Put you guys back. And other than that, we'll be we'll be golden. Quick cleanup. I like that. Yeah, wow guys, this is fun. So for those watching, would you like to see more cooking streams? 
Um, this will vary from baked goods to like dinners. You got bored so you came back? Well, here to entertain for the next like 10 minutes or so while we wait for these cookies to finish. They're gonna be cooling for the next 10 to 15 minutes and then uh, yeah. Quick cleanup is the best. I literally threw, I got maybe two full bowls with just some utensils in them, but I've been cleaning them along the way. They don't want to have the water running too much just because it, you know, it gets loud and I have a mic attached to my phone right now. Um, so it'll be just really loud and this thing's like right next to my setup. But so far so good. I'm very happy. Hey Luca, you want a snack? You want a snack? Hey. You want a snack, baby boy? While we wait for cookies to finish? Come here. Let's get a snack. While we wait. Come here. Come on. That sounds good. I know, right? So I ordered, let's see, the food and beverage community has plenty of room for more. And from what I've seen, you can actually cook. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Which is serious bonus. I say go for it. It makes you happy. It really makes me happy. Not only do I get to try new things, I get to share it with you guys. Slant knows I, co I cook for him every weekend. Come here. Come here, say hi. Up. There's my boy. High five. High five. High five. Yay. We're baking cookies. Here's your cookie. Turkey. Yeah, I, I, it's a great community. I definitely want to expand into it. And I also write a blog. So every every week I look for, there's my baby. <laughs> I write a blog. Oh, the cookies are ready. Look at the cookies are ready. Oh, Paul Darwin, look at cookies. But yeah, so I write a blog. I write recipe reviews. once you know in the next 10 to 15 minutes but mm, still not sold on it yet good morning pupper also good morning gray hi zombie luca stop scratching hey much longer. All right, you gotta step back. Sit down. Hey, sit, 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 you stubborn boy. Wow, okay. All right, this 
is going to be fine. They brown, on, they brown on the bottoms, you can see on the sides. So this is our finished product over here. These are... Peanut butter chocolate. Ch chocolate chip. We used vegan carob for this. I'm going to let these sit for a little bit. You know, if I had a, maybe a better scoop, they would be more formed. But they look, look great, right? They're tasty. I, I hope so. Um, they smell good. So we're going to let these rest over here now. Uh, this recipe I can actually link to you, guys. It's from the recipe called GoDairyFree.org. And the only substitution we made was rather than using flaxseed, we ended up using um, one egg. And because we used one egg in terms of, you know, how much of it there is in a large egg, um, we had to double the recipe, which I'm glad we did. You think they look great, nice spread, and still have a decent bite. I know, right? You don't want them to be too thin, one, because they're going to crisp up too quickly and they have a higher probability of burning. But they have a really nice color. You know, granted, the uh, peanut butter was pr pretty dark, but... I got two two recipes done today on stream in about two hours. I'm very impressed with myself for our first cooking stream. Really great. Chat, oh, husband, chat and engage with awesome streamers. But yeah, if you guys are looking for some great support, uh, use Panda Raid's uh, hashtag in your Twitter posts. Uh, Slunt Vision and I uh, are partners on that. We've both been pretty busy, so we're trying to get, get things going with that. Luca, I can hear you. If you're biting your paws, so help me God. What are you doing? You want the muzzle? You want the muzzle? Yeah? Are you going to stop? Yeah. Then come here. Come into the kitchen. Come and hang out while we say goodbye. Come here. Come on. We got to clean up, buddy. Turn off the light. Luca, come here. There's literally panda raids. When it comes to cookies, always double the recipe. I think that's a that's a really great idea, especially with the blossoms. I made the recipe the first time about two weeks ago, just the recipe as is, which is uh, why I actually do these reviews. I always do these reviews. Um, you gotta take your pills. I have to take mine in 25 minutes. Come here. Oh, I'm, I, I scared you by shaking you. Come here. Maybe there's a crumb. We're gonna say bye. So our cookies are done. We have to go get ready for an appointment. I do, at least. And then uh, we'll be finishing off the stream. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come on. Ugh. Okay, we're going to say thanks for joining us for our first baking stream. We're hopefully going to do more of these, so we'll be sharing some more recipes with you guys. But for now, um, I'll be done streaming until until Tuesday, since I'll be off for the weekend going to the Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. So I'll see you later. And for all of you, as I say on my blog, have a fantastic day and happy nomming. All right. Um, for our first stream, I'm actually very impressed with how things went. Wrinkly Pup is so cute. Thank you. He's my little boy.